My name is Brian McDonnell. You know how some people just talk about how an opportunity just falls into your lap? Well, I'm of two minds. In one sense, yeah, it, it happens a few times in your life. Like the big ones, you can just reach out and grasp it. But on the other hand, nothing comes easy. These days, you have to work for everything. I've always been willing to put in the work to get what I want. I don't exactly believe in limits. You have to make sacrifices to get what you really want. Actually, if you are truly committed, truly passionate, you'll want to make the sacrifices. And so all began with a note. A note that would give me the opportunity of a lifetime. If I made a six minute film, I would make it to the greatest city in the world for college, New York City, but it had to be good. My best friend went crazy when she found out. My mother was excited for me, but my sister didn't really seem to care. But then again, unless I hit her iPod, I suppose she wouldn't even notice me. I found a short story in my room, The Lonely Girl, which features isolation and the fear that the world is absorbing you. And then we got to work. We only had four weeks, 28 days, 1,680 minutes, 100,800 seconds to get this movie done. There's a darkness in this house. I, uh, I couldn't sleep last night. I just, my brain was just pumping ideas, just this free flowing thought. Imagine that, just, just to stay up and work them into something tangible. It's crazy. <laughs> well, one thing's for sure none of the others will be this passionate or determined to get things done. I, um, I keep forgetting about the others, though. Brian. You made your first 30 second film at 10. You use all your spare time to write and create. The others just don't matter. Not to you. There's only one person you need to worry about. Myself. That's right. She needs an inner struggle. I thought that her being alone in the world was an inner struggle. Don't you see? It's, it's not really a struggle. It's just, it's just sad. She has no friends, you know. She needs to be battling with herself. You mean like between herself and someone else? Not, not necessarily. It doesn't have to be like a, a physical antagonist. Just, you know, more so just the whole thing with the, the good and evil and, you know, the fighting against self-destruction and... You know, just the whole complexity of not being able to forge an emotional connection with others. It, yeah. Whoa, this is getting rather deep. Is that what you want? What do you mean? I mean it's six minutes. You understand the story because it's your ideas. Your head, it processes it in a certain way. But if it's too complicated, the judges might be confused. No. They like this sort of stuff though. They like to be plunged deep into the story and deep into thought and they'll be impressed a 17 year old could even pull this off. I wasn't criticizing you, I was just saying... Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. No, no, it's okay, I, I get what you mean, I just, I think it makes it better. It's your film. 
Zood. What? We need to go if you still want to lift home. I'm done here. Were you and your little friend working on your film? It's none of your business. <laughs> Could have played that game, are you? I don't know what you mean. I found your short story. I know what you're. Yeah, you were going for my room? You honestly think that little story is going to get you to New York? Enormously talented. <laughs> Enormously talented. Do you speak to your peers that way? Newsflash any dumbass kid can pick up a camera and make a film. Doesn't make you special, it makes you generic. Oh yeah, so is that why you dress this way? You're trying to fight the norm and pretending not to be the superficial bitch that you are. <clears throat> <sighs> Fuck you. You never listen. It's always been your problem, don't you see? When you're living on the streets of New York, so poor you can't even afford a blanket, it'll be because you didn't listen to me now. I'm family, I'm here to help you. You're not my family. <laughs> Whether you choose to acknowledge it or not, I am your older sister. That means it's always my business. Georgina's right. There needs to be a physical antagonist. Dark. I will tempt you. A more fun life. Loneliness gone. Hatred and the ultimate majesty remaining. I need power. I need control. She will be mine. She will be hers. So, you read the completed script? Of course. Yeah, but no, specifically the one I sent you last night. It's got some really, really clear changes in there. Yes, I read it. Right. Yeah, I'm just checking, you know, it's got to be good for the judges, yeah? So. And it so. will. Don't worry, just do what you do. All right. So, plan for today, uh, intro for the Lonely Girl, all right? Um, you know, she's misunderstood and she's isolated, that's good. So, um, you know, she's searching out for something, you know, she's going to reach out, but what she wants is kind of out of reach. I, I, I get the symbolism, but can we just focus on actions, please? I mean, how are we going to shoot it? Yeah, um, alright, so this path just here, I want you to go down it, right, you're looking ahead, then you look right, and then I want you to go left, right, but when you come back here, I want you to reach up for that, yep, and then it's... <laughs> can we just do that bit for us, please? Sure, alright, yep. I just want to get it right, for yeah, you. Yeah. Right. Um, Oh, that's practicing. Let the girl stand on top of the hill, overcoming all the negativity in her life, complete solace with herself. There's something missing. You know that something's missing. Something's missing.
the ending. Letting go needs a new ending. I'm confused. How are you confused? Well, for one, who are these new characters? This angry boy and this little girl. See, it's great, right? See, I just dreamt them up last night and you know, I thought the Lenny girl had to be outnumbered. The ending is completely different. Like... See, like, it, it didn't work though, you know. It just, you need to see how unfair it is and that you can't win the fight. But doesn't that just give the message that we should all give up? No. That there's no point? It just says that we need to change. Look, it just has to be perfect, okay? You... Well, do you have actors for these new characters? I see, not yet. But, you know, I'll find some, you know, people would kill to be a part of this. You can make them famous. Yeah. Right now. This is due in a fortnight, and you keep doing massive rewrites. Like, I know you want it to be perfect, Brian, but it also needs to be done. You can only do your best. Yeah, and this is how I do my best, so. I know, but... I think we need to decide on a final version of the script. Please, can we just use this version now? I, I can't promise there will be a final version of the script. But you'll have to, Brian. Look, I have my own assignments to do. Look, I, I really, really want to help you do well. But this is turning into a huge commitment. Fine, I, I won't do any more rewrites. Thank you. I didn't film this. Not yet. You need more of me. To taunt her. To fight her. To weaken her. I'm a much better character than she is. So much... deeper. We are the real protagonists of this film. Not her. Your perspective is holding you back. What's called the lonely girl? For now. But just think. It could be so much better. You said it yourself. You're a genius, Brian. You can get this scholarship. You just have to be creative. Show them just how ingenious you really are. Then the lonely girl... Who are you talking to? I always suspected you were a freak. Think it will improve your chances of getting this scholarship. You have no idea what this takes. No, you don't understand. Have you even eaten today? Don't sing and pretend like you care, okay? Even a freak like you should know this isn't- GET OUT! <laughs> OUT! GET OUT! You really are a freak. <laughs> and, and, no! Okay, no! What now? Right? You're supposed to run towards the camera, right? To the left, not to the right, because that's where we add Belle and we can't see her. No, that's after. <laughs> oh, it's there. No, it's not. I run towards this tree, and then I turn around and come towards the camera. I remember because Belle grabs the tree at the end. You've made so many different versions of this script, you can't even keep up with it. It's, it's not true, okay? Oh, it's not? No, look, you just need to keep up, all right? Because the edited footage is fine, and my direction's fantastic. The okay. fuck it is! For God's sake! Do you really think people are going to react to this? At this rate, you're not even going to get the scholarship. I don't even think you deserve it, either. Do not just say that to me. You bastard! You... I, I hope you're happy with this film, Brian, because it's cost you. That's what you're pulling out now, huh? No, I'm not just pulling out of the film, Brian. I'm pulling out of everything. Our association is over. Our friendship is over. Do this and you'll regret it, okay? You know what you have to do.
I'm the protagonist of this story. The darkness consumes the light. How did I get here? You're nearly there. Just one more edit. You can finish this. I killed her. I fucking killed her. The lonely girl had to die. She was weak. Weakness must be punished. My best friend. It matters not. Now it is in my grasp. You're too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> no one can have this much. <laughs> You're mine now. <laughs> You're mine now, little brother. <laughs> <laughs> It's done. It's a masterpiece. Wait, dumbass, where are my keys? Brian? Brian?